Hey everyone, Aaron Klein from the International College of Broadcasting in Dayton, Ohio. I'd like to share a quick how-to. This one is going to pertain to workflow with audio. Now, this isn't anything new really. That said, it's something I don't see many video creators uh, taking full advantage of. It pertains to working with your uh, audio in a Premiere Pro project. And as we all know it, audio is going to be greater, if not just as important as your visuals. Now, when you have a sequence and you have a lot of audio uh, tracks coming in from your camera, an external recorder, you know, there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done. As robust as Premiere Pro is at its audio handling, sometimes it's nice just to work with everything in a waveform editor. Uh, uh, creators I see uh, tend to send one clip at a time to Audition with Dynamic Link. I'm gonna show you how to send the whole sequence to Audition so you can get in there and work with everything and tweak it to its best. Here's an example. Here's a short skit where each actor is mic'd up and I want to get in there and edit out parts, denoise, trim, process, and whatever my ears hear it might need. Again, this is not a tutorial on editing audio. It's just how to send the entire sequence to Adobe Audition and bring it back into Premiere Pro, helping edit the audio in a more detailed workspace. All right, so I'm in Premiere Pro and in my sequence here, I've got two dialogues from each actress. Super ratings and super segments. Ooh. Super, super, super. I hear the word super. Now I want to send the entire sequence over to Adobe Audition. So we go right here, make sure we mark our out as well. I meant before, most times people just right click and say edit in Adobe Audition, but that's just going to send each individual clip in its own window. So what we're going to do is go up here to the edit drop down menu, go down to edit in Adobe Audition sequence. It's going to ask you a few questions here. Name, go ahead and type one in. Let's see, let's get one. Section, the entire sequence, video, send through dynamic link, and add our audio handles. I'm going to add eight seconds. This is going to add extra audio on the front and back instead of it just being trimmed right down. And this all looks good. Transfer settings, uh, just leave those alone and click OK. Now again, editing in Adobe Audition is going to be really, really nice for you in your workflow because it's a true waveform editor instead of uh, dealing with the audio blocks in Premiere Pro. And plus, Audition is going to create a reference video for you as well. Now let's let Audition do its thing here. All right, so here we are in Audition. If yours looks a little different, just click the Edit Audio button here. Now, normally it puts the window here at the top, but I switched mine around. Uh, so now you can see your entire Premiere Pro audio timeline is right here. Now you can go right here and edit to your heart's content. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, now since you've uh, gone in there and got all your little details finished and it's got it something pretty awesome, now let's send it back to Premiere Pro. What you want to do is go up to your multi-track right here. Instead of mix down, select export to Premiere Pro. And it brings up this export window. Uh, normally, I don't change the name, but uh, see here, keep the sample rate at 48K. And I'm going to do a mix down for this one. Uh, it's just the dialogue. And uh, you can export as a stereo file or a mono file. I'm going to choose mono. And uh, just to note, it'll save in the same location as your project folder. Now go ahead and export. When it opens up in Premiere Pro, it's going to ask you what you want to do with the mix down. Uh, you can put it on one of these existing tracks or you can create a new one. I'm going to create a new audio track right here. And there it is. 
Now we can uh, just uh, mute these other tracks right here and now you have your mixed down audio. All right, and that's how we send an entire sequence to Adobe Audition so you can work with your audio in a way more detail and then bring it back into Premiere Pro. Now, you can also send each track back individually as a stem if that's what you prefer. And you can always go back and save your project, make changes, and drop it back in. Uh, it uses the XML with the video to make it all sync up. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for letting me uh, show you this little workflow tip. I'd like to see a lot more uh, video creators uh, use this technique to, uh, to uh, really work, work with their audio and to increase speed in their workflow uh, using Adobe Audition. Uh, if there's any other questions or something you want me to explain more, just leave a comment. Uh, I'm Aaron from ICB, and be sure to check us out on our social media, uh, ICB Dayton. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, if this video helped you out in any way, please give it a share. All right, guys. Thank you.